You know, I know I passed geography, but someone says there's an ocean in the middle of Indiana. So we're here at Inland Aquatics to see if that's true. Let's check it out. Morgan, I was dropped out of a plane in the middle of Indiana, and now I'm in the Bahamas. Yeah. This is basically marine land under one roof, isn't it? More or less. How many, uh, how many square feet and how many tanks and gallons, and how did Inland start, basically? We've got about 13,000 square feet, uh, around 40,000 gallons. It fluctuates quite a bit. I couldn't even begin to tell you how many tanks. That fluctuates too much, but it's a bunch. There's a whole lot of water in here. We've been here about 17 years. This started as what was supposed to be a weekend project in my basement to grow live rock, and it real quickly got really out of control. So if you had to basically tell somebody what Inland Aquatics is today, what would you say it is? Uh, since the addition of just about everything freshwater as well as everything marine, if it's sustainable uh, aquatics that can be kept in your home, we have it. And what's interesting about that is you've taken the hobby on the marine side to a whole different level. You know, many people, many hobbyists have been starting to propagate and get corals and the hard corals moving, but you've kind of put it in 40,000 gallons and have really become more of a, there's more of a word for you than just propagator, isn't it? Yeah, in fact, uh, we used to propagate probably more stuff than we propagate now. We've gotten more into custom tank design, installation, and also a whole lot more walk-in retail. We used to be the largely mail order, and we're getting back more into mail order, but uh, we do an awful lot of retail walk-in business. When you set up, I know you have tanks everywhere, and you gotta be careful when you walk around this place, because there, there can be a tank right by your feet when you're walking in. It's true. But it's not, you're, you're being a little uh, modest, because this place is really run very well, and you have it, it almost looks not segregated, but at least it's separated, so you have lighting on your tanks, and you have algae scrubbers, which we're gonna look at in a minute. Yeah. So you, there's a lot more than just you plopping a tank down and setting it up. You've done uh, your homework in doing this. We've been here a long time, and we've played with a lot of different stuff, and we've innovated a lot of stuff ourselves. Uh, when we get started, particularly in the reef hobby, um, you know, everybody did a Berlin, Berlin system, a bare bottom tank, a lot of water movement, uh, a few corals, and virtually no fish was the way that it was done and uh, our involvement with a dynamic aquaria type paradigm uh, meant the involvement of deep sand beds and refugia, as well as algae turf scrubbers and to some extent non-traumatic pumping as well. We played with all those different elements and most of our systems still reflect those and amazingly most hobbyist systems in the reef hobby today reflect all of those uh, elements as well with the exception of the algae turf scrubber, although most people use a refugium or some other modified uh, photosynthetic filter. It's just that of all the different filters we've played with, and we've played with a lot of different scrubber designs, the dump bucket algae turf scrubber is by far the most efficient that we've ever worked with. Almost all the water in this building, certainly all, almost exclusively all the reef systems are filtered with algae turf scrubber. Admit it. You've tried freeze-dried foods before and they left you disappointed. Check out Hikari BioPure FD, the world's only pharmaceutical grade freeze-dried foods. Using the same raw materials as Hikari BioPure Frozen, our state-of-the-art process allows us to provide your pet the same color, smell, taste, and texture of the live animal with less moisture and more actual food. The patented oxygen barrier bottle significantly reduces oxidation. When live or frozen isn't practical, think Hikari BioPure FD. What algae turf scrubbing allows us to do is incorporate both nitrogenous and phosphoric compounds into the cells of the algae which are scraped weekly and physically removed from the system. So the foods that we put into the tank, the supplements that we put into the tank are made up for in the algae that's removed from the tank. We also get a great benefit in that the algae turf scrubbers run at night and so they oxygenate, they serve as the open ocean in that they're constantly pouring oxygen into the system when everything else is in the dark and respiring. Because of the algae turf scrubbers, does that allow you to get away from maybe partial water changes at times? Yeah, um, whereas a regular reef hobbyist might do a 10 to 20 percent monthly water change, uh, most of our big systems, like our lease systems that we have out in the community, we do a 5 percent annual water change. So just the time, or just the cost savings for RO water and salt replacements can be significant and on a big tank, not to mention your time. Um, whenever I talk about an algae turf scrubber, I'm talking about a true 
uh, counterweighted dump bucket style scrubber. And you can see that there's a removable screen. We use a two-ply screen that ensures that there's always algae because once a week we take that out of there, just take off the tabs and remove that and scrape that really well, hose it down. Having the two-ply screen ensures that we always leave algae. And these organisms have evolved such that they grow really fast. Morgan, by, did you, are these of your design? Did you improve on a design? How did you come up with this idea? This idea was originated with Dr. Walter Aidy of the Smithsonian Institution, uh, who we work with for years. And actually, this design um, is something that he and I worked on together years ago. And then we've taken this design and miniaturized it into filters that can be used on aquaria that can be put on sumps that can serve as sumps themselves. Basically, algae turf scrubbers for the hobbyists. So if you can run 40,000 gallons of marine water successfully on algae scrubbers, someone that has a 120 gallon reef can definitely run their little reef on a smaller algae scrubber. So very much so. An algae turf scrubber uh, adds an awful lot of buffering capacity, whether you're an advanced hobbyist or a brand new guy that just you know needs some help as he makes a few mistakes. Cordon's Novaqua Plus detoxifies chlorine and toxic metals while adding a protective skin slime coating, echinacea, and natural electrolytes and vitamins. Cordon's superior water conditioning products help make fish keeping easy. Visit Cordon.com and check out the entire line of products and ask for Cordon products at your favorite store. Cordon, trusted solutions since 1961. Morgan, of all the cool equipment here, one thing also stands out. You have these big tubs or vats that are about six foot tall. Explain them a little bit. These are what we call spawning towers. Uh, they're roughly 500, a little over 500 gallon capacity. Um, fiberglass, custom fiberglass tanks. And they were originally designed um, with uh, centropyges and um, genocanthus, other uh, angel fishes, and as well as other fishes that have an intricate um, vertical mating uh, courtship ritual where they do a large ascension through the water in order to do their spawning. Morgan, when we were walking around looking at all the equipment, we walked by a door that said Secret Service only, not really, but it's a lab and it looks like there's all kinds of bubbling colors and cauldrons. I think we need to check that out. Let's do it. Feeding your fish flakes? Is your aquarium cloudy and your water quality difficult to maintain? Try Hikari Micro Wafers, a uniquely balanced combination of highly nutritious ingredients that your fish and pocketbook will love. These little wafers help you see what your fish are eating so you can give them just the right amount, always. Best of all, they also help you reduce the time you spend cleaning the gravel and filter to remove leftovers. Trust Hikari's 130 years of experience to help your fish look their best and live a long and health-filled life. Morgan, one of my uh, favorite subjects at school was history. I know this has nothing to do with history, but it's definitely not science, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. Explain what these cauldrons are doing and what you've got going on in your lab here. The cornerstone of any mariculture, at least uh, fish mariculture, is phytoplankton. Um, we rely on vast amounts of phytoplankton to feed a little rotifer uh, because we can get the baby or the larval fishes to eat a rotifer. The rotifer doesn't have much in the way of nutrition, and so by feeding a variety of uh, phytoplankton or unicellular plankton to the rotifers, it's a way to trick the clownfishes into eating their vitamins, essentially. So what we're looking at, basically, is food for the fish. Baby fish food, larval fish food, technically. Morgan, we've seen the overall layout of the place, the lab, your algae scrubbers. Now we need to see the fun stuff the corals and the fish. Are you open to showing us around? Absolutely. To learn more about the show or to email us, go to bluezootv.com.